Yo, Jay Blanked here. This is the TMA RSI band. Uh, it is an RSI of TMA centered plus bands. Um, so this is a refactored version of the TMA CG that has been floating around uh, for years, but I added uh, a little flair and put my own spin on it. So pretty much instead of using plain moving averages, um, we're using RSI of moving averages. And I also included a signal filter for added precision. So let's go over the inputs and then we'll go over and look at uh, the, the chart. So all of these inputs from the half link down to the band's deviation are exactly the same as in the TMACG. Uh, what's added in here is an RSI period. Um, this is for, again, the RSI of moving averages. Um, and then the filter here, if we turn this to false, we will see uh, the normal buy and sell arrows just like we would uh, with the TMA CG, but of course in the RSI. And if we turn it to true, it is filtered. Outside of that, you can change the color of all of the lines and the arrows, but let's go and just hit OK. We'll go from here. So we're looking at the filtered version. Um, and what the filter does, um, it is using this midline here for the trend. Um, so we're, we're kind of still using the, the RSI, where if it's above 50, we're going to consider it bullish. If it's below 50, uh, then we're going to consider it bearish. So as long as this midline is below here, we're only going to get those sell signals. And then vice versa, uh, once it's above 50, then we're only going to get those buy signals. Because if you guys know my trading style, I always love to follow the, the trend. I'm not one to catch reversal because I almost always uh, lose trying to catch, uh, you know, the tops and the bottoms. Um, yeah, it does work on different time frames. This is the hour time frame. Here's the 30 minute. Um, the 15 minute, which is one of my favorites to look at. I like to look at the 15 minute um, and the one hour time frame but you can see it's very um smooth now, of course it does recalculate as does the tma cg uh, but it's still very valid um once you see the, the signal you need to wait until the candle closes um before taking the trade um now of course i wouldn't use this as your your main strategy or your main analysis i would just use this for um, pullbacks or um, I always tell my students to use this for trend exhaustion as in once you are um, bullish 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 for a while you know then once we see um, this price line pull up above the, the TMA you know then that may not be a good idea to get into a buy you might want to wait until we come down a bit again and then of course if you are bullish then you would go and enter into buys. One last thing, you can also go and download this from Forex Factory. Um, I will go and put the link in the description below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Let's go.